Hello, this is Adam Watson at Watson Ed Tech on Twitter, and I'm the Digital Learning Coordinator of Shelby County Public Schools. I'm here today to talk about uh, two different ways that you can annotate, in particular annotate on PDFs, inside of your Google Drive. One is a free built-in one that uh, now is part of your Google Drive uh, tools, and then the second one is a free tool called Kami, K-A-M-I, that uh, you can install and use as well. So there are a couple, uh, three things that happen really quick before the beginning of the screencast. One is I've already installed Kami. The first time you do that, you're going to have to OK and uh, give permissions for it to access your Google Drive. Uh, the second is I have a PDF inside of my Google Drive to play with here. And the third, and this is just a tip, nothing you have to, that have to do that's mandatory, but I highly recommend that inside of your Google Drive folder you create a new folder where your annotations can go, in particular for Kami. Um, as you remember and do this for the first time, uh, the next time you fire up Kami, it'll probably remember that as the, as the location for the uh, future annotations to come. And that way they're all in one place. It's, if you need to move it to another folder, fine, uh, but it's easy to access and easy to get to. Um, and then, of course, if any of these PDFs need to be shared, you can do that. So just a little tip. That said, let's go to the PDF itself and first talk about the Google Drive uh, commenting feature. Um, the great thing about Google Drive now is that you can comment on a PDF or even images, and when you do that, um, those comments like you can just in Google Docs or in other Google uh, files, those are going to be viewable or perhaps even editable if you have those rights by other people that access that file. That tool is now right here, this little button here for adding a comment. When I click that button, I can now basically lasso around a piece of text in order to make a comment, just like that. And if I want to do it again, hit the button, do it again. You'll notice that this functionality is pretty much just like if I was making a comment inside of Google Docs or elsewhere um, with the same ability to uh, resolve comments. Um, I can also delete them if necessary. And um, again, if anyone has rights to this particular file, this particular PDF, they're going to be able to see those comments as well. So that's one that's just built in. I want to make sure you're aware of in Google Drive. The second one I want to talk about, some more time on in this particular video, is Kami. Again, a free tool that you can add as an extension. The uh, first step is we have to open it up inside Kami. And uh, you may have a button for a shortcut here, uh, this little K. But the uh, quickest way is probably going to be to open with this PDF. And we're going to annotate with Kami. That's how we're going to open it up. So by doing that, it's going to fire up your file. Okay, and we can see a toolbar opening up here. First off, notice down here that you have the ability to make the toolbar go to the left or right of the screen. Uh, you'll also notice that several of these toolbar functions, and some as you'll see when we pop it open, uh, have a little yellow lock icon. That means that those are only available in the premium version of Kami, so we're going to skip those and ignore those as we run through really quickly some of these features. Um, first off, as far as the select text is what it sounds like. In particular, this middle one might be useful. It becomes a hand that you can use to scroll through the different parts of a PDF, but uh, you can also just scroll using your trackpad as well. So just keep that in mind. Uh, markup is probably the first point where you're going to have some useful functionality here. By clicking on that, we can see there's a text highlighter. If we want to change the color, we can. I'm going to leave it as yellow for right now. And it's as simple as that. Now we see it highlighted. We can also use a box highlighter. Same idea, but you're lassoing a box area, like so. And now that becomes highlighted. We have a strike through option. Again, it's in that color. All right, we also have underline. Let's change that color for a second. Let's change that to purple. So like that. And boom. So you can see those different markup options and opportunities here. For comment, the only comment feature that's available is a text comment, and um, it's a, a way of just basically highlighting a word or an area on top of the PDF, like so, and then typing that away. Okay, so we've got that. Um, in text box, we can change the font size and the color. Let's make this red this time. And uh, this might be useful if you have a, a uh, PDF that looks like a form where you want to be able to actually type the 
name of what you want to say there. Okay. Uh, in drawing, it's more of a freehand opportunity. The stroke thickness you can change here. Again, you can change the color. Uh, let's make this blue this time around. And then holding down the trackpad, I'm basically circling around as I like there. A little bit of doodles. Shapes, same idea. Again, as far as colors, we can change. We could insert a line, insert a circle, insert a square. Let's just show how that looks right there. And eraser. Notice here that we can erase all the annotations or we can erase the drawings and shapes only. Uh, if we had choose this as an option, okay, it's, it's basically just clicking on the thing that you want to uh, and then kind of following through there by holding on the trackpad of what you want to erase. So you can see that, okay, but I'm not able in that particular eraser tool to erase the text. That's where I have to choose the other one, which is all annotations. And that way I can make those go away as well. When you are ready and done, okay, I'm gonna go back to select text here. When you're ready to done, you can choose to print out with the annotations. You can save it. And at which point you're gonna make some decisions about where you want that particular file to be. Um, and uh, one of the options will be to saving it to your Google Drive itself as far as, um, which is probably what you want to do, especially if you are inside of a Chromebook or some kind of other opportunity where you need to save it to the cloud. And for now, I'm going to stop right there. That kind of gives you the basic overviews and some of the basic features of Kami and how to annotate with that. I hope you found this useful and thank you very much for listening.